Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee with word and heart and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide Though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain the eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice as we gather together on this solemnity of the Holy Trinity, that as we have now come through the time of Pentecost, we spend these moments in prayer on the foundational beliefs, the foundational work of God's Holy Church. Let us now prepare ourselves to enter ever more fully into communion with that Trinity. Please now make an examination of your conscience and confess your sins to God. Let us now awaken in our hearts a deep sense of sorrow for the sins we've committed, and with confidence in God's love and mercy toward us, let us confess our sins as we recite together the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, 
or fail to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My brothers and sisters, this is an act of penance for our confession this day. We ask that as we honor this week, the, the Trinity, as we enter more fully into our communion with God, Father, Son, and Spirit, that we spend some moments in prayer giving thanks to Almighty God for His marvelous works in this past, especially in this past Easter season, but also in the works that He continued to do with His Spirit within us, with Christ leading us, continuing to cause us to do great and wonderful things for Almighty God in the world. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May our Lord and Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us to the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Peace be with you. Let us pray. O Holy Trinity, try in God. Our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Turn our wanderings into a pilgrimage, drawing us ever closer to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, living and reigning as one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God, speaking from the midst of fire as you did and lived? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord, your God, did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know, and fix in your heart, that the Lord is God, in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for our psalm today, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the Lord, 
and all of his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right, and of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you do not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God. As you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with the burning coal, in your mercy cleanse me, that I worthily to proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, I want to once again share a reflection with you on today's readings and on this solemnity of the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Following our season of Easter as we spend time experiencing the risen Christ along with the apostles, those appearances that he made to them in Jerusalem, and finally his ascension into heaven, his promising to send the Spirit, and last Sunday we have a, a bit of a pivot on that last day of Easter, we celebrate the descent of the Spirit, the, the birth of the church as the Apostles go out into the world and begin to preach the good news, and they go out to testify to the mighty acts of God. And now in our liturgical year, we spend the next two weeks, in fact, focusing on the foundational things of the church, 
this solemnity of the Holy Trinity, that we know God and experience God as Father, Son, and Spirit. And of course, next week as we celebrate the body and blood of Christ, how we come to commune with Almighty God in our liturgical worship. But in this solemnity of Holy Trinity, we are faced with a philosophical issue that has been a part of our understandings of God and church, religion, from the very beginning, even before the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, going back to the Old Testament and how the people of Israel knew and understood God, of that God is in many ways entirely apart from us. Anytime we use human language or even human thought or experience to say what God is like, it's already a diminishment. God is not like anything of this created world because it's his creation. He is above it. Anything that we can point to, any concept that we have of what God is for us, as hopeful as they might be for us to understand that God is pure love, God is pure spirit, God is beyond all of our comprehension, even those are human ways to describe it, and therefore they can't really sum up what God is. He's entirely a transcendent being. But the readings we hear today speak of, in many ways, something entirely different. Did the people ever hear the voice of God? Moses says in the book of Deuteronomy, did God, did any God ever venture to go and take a nation for himself? By signs, wonders, war, with a strong hand and outstretched arm, as God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. God comes to his people. The people of Israel here were taken by the hand out of slavery out of subjugation and given a promised land. God led them to the promised land. St. Paul says in a similar vein, you have not received a spirit of slavery, but a spirit of adoption, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Throughout the understandings of the Old Testament. Nowhere is God referred to in that very intimate way in Aramaic Abba. It means much more than the formal Father. It is an expression of love, devotion, intimacy that a, a family life has. St. Paul kept that word because the the, the term father seems very formal. Abba has that sense of a closeness, a close relationship. And of course, we hear our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the Holy Gospel remind the apostles, go into the world, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit that all people may begin to enter into that great mystery that is the Trinity. And then, of course, the outpouring of that, which is to teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. Jesus was with them then and promised, as he said in that last line, Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Not just with them then, but with us now as a God who is not only transcendent but imminent here with us 
And of course, as we will celebrate in next week's solemnity, hear with us in a very tangible and physical way in God's Word, in the Eucharist, as we celebrate upon our altars. God is with us in a very close and special way. That, my brothers and sisters, is the great mystery that we have in our celebration of the Trinity. We know fully well that no language that we use to describe God, that no conception that we have within our minds that has been handed down to us in tradition is adequate. God is above it all. God is more than any word, than any concept we can apply to him. But in that same way, out of great love, he comes to us in word, in sacrament, in the spirit that resides within us, in the spirit that descended upon his holy church. He is with us, and he is acting in us and through us as we continue to go about the work of building up his kingdom. Go, he said, and make disciples of all nations. He gives us a mission. In us and through us, we have a mission to announce God's kingdom to a world which is in such sore need of the presence of God. Yes, not understanding it at all, but still so very much in need of knowledge of our Creator, of knowledge of the God who rules over us, to experience the one that breathed into us and gave us life, to know him not just as the Creator of humanity many centuries ago, but as the God who sustains us in the here and now. That, my brothers and sisters, is what we are called to not only believe, not only to be loyal to and faithful to in this solemnity of the Trinity, but to experience and enter into. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on the cross, rose from the dead, and now has ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. The Spirit has been sent upon the church to continue to reside within our hearts, to reside within our worship experience and spur us on. God has given us the commandment to go, to teach, to make disciples, to bring people into that great mystery that is Father, Son, and Spirit. Let us, my brothers and sisters, take moments of prayer and contemplation to give thanks to Almighty God, Father, Son, Spirit, the Father who created us, the Son who redeems us, the Spirit that sanctifies us, the God who loves us, the God who came to earth, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, who rose for our life, the spirit that animates us to continue to build his kingdom, the God who is among us. Yes, transcendent, but also here every moment, every day in our life, not only in these times of worship when we can feel him so strongly, but in every moment, because in every moment we are called to be his people, teaching his way through word, through action, through how we work together and treat one another in everything we do to be building that kingdom around us, first and foremost, and then together as the body of Christ extending it out into the world. That's what this solemnity reminds us. That yes, the transcendent God came to us. Father, Son, and Spirit 
came to us, comes to us in our worship, in our work, in our building. Let us, my brothers and sisters, take this commandment to go into the world, to baptize, to bring disciples to Christ, to teach, to observe, but also to know that Christ is with us always to the end of the age. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are children of God. As true and co heirs with Christ, we come to our Father with confident trust. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth, gathered in each place, may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity, the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, as shepherds of the church, may continue the mission of baptizing all nations in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching all what Jesus taught. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who direct human society and have authority over our lives may submit to the commandments of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are enslaved and oppressed may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit of adoption may give us the confidence to call on God as Abba, taking hold of our inheritance as beloved children of the Most High. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work to bring non believers to faith and baptism, and strengthen those who are struggling to live their faith and baptism more fully. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer any affliction, physical, mental, or spiritual, that because of the generous love of Christ, peace and healing will also abound. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised into glory, that of the Holy Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Hear our prayer. And now, my brothers and sisters, for all those intentions that we each hold within our own hearts.
that in calling on the love of Lord Jesus, our prayers will be answered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we offer our prayers, draw us into the communion of the Holy Spirit, who dwells in your children, and the communion of the Son, our Savior and our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine, and water, may we come to share in the Trinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer through the divine work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which you make in memory of the Passion, Resurrection, and Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice for my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Lord God, Trinity in unity, as we offer our gifts of self and substance, we ask you to make them holy. Grant us an understanding of your inner life, for to that living mystery we have been called. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the Trinity of one substance. For what we believe of your glory, through your revelation, we also believe in your Son and in the Holy Spirit, without difference or distinction. In confessing the one a true and eternal God, we adore the distinction of persons, oneness in being, and equality in majesty. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You have formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy you came to our help, so that in seeking you we might find you. 
Again and again, you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Gracious God, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Incarnate with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, to the sorrowful, joy. To fulfill your purpose, he gave himself to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world, and bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and suffer with them. He took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. After supper, he took a cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. We now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us this bread and this cup. We praise you and bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. We pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice to Christ to the praise of your name. Remember your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember me, your unworthy servant, all my brother bishops, and all who minister in your holy church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth. In a special way today, all of the pastors bishops, priests, deacons of our holy church, all the members of our church, those who continue to have difficulty in this time of pandemic, and especially blessing upon those who are striving to continue to build the kingdom of God in this season of Pentecost. Remember all who died in the peace of Christ, Whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them to the place of eternal joy and light, and grant them to find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with our ancestors in faith, with the prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all the saints who found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them, and give you glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ. All honor and glory are yours, creator of all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray.
pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And my brothers and sisters, to all those who are sharing in these moments of prayer, I extend to each and every one of you Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, let us now pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Blood of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Brothers and sisters, since we are unable to receive Holy Communion together in these moments of prayer, let us together make an act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen.
Lord, may possess with a pure heart that I pray in his food. May the gift I have received may be healing and strength now and forever. Amen. grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and source of the Spirit, you are the creator of all that exists, and the originator of all that is good. You loved us in Christ even before the world was formed. Grant through this Holy Eucharist that our whole lives may only be a return to you. From our first beginning through baptism in your holy name to our final goal. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, we love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we marvel for thee. All on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven the Father adore thee. Boundless is thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Boundless is thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit, three we name Thee, while in essence only one, undivided God we claim Thee. And adoring then money, while we own the mystery. And adoring then money.